welcome back to a new vlog. Um, today, I don't even know what day it is. I could not tell you what day of the week it is. Thursday, May 13th. Thursday, May 13th. That means there's roughly exactly two weeks left in my current home, of which I just pulled out of the driveway. Um, the landlord, the man who owns the home, is there right now working on some things. I don't know. I don't really like being there when that's going on. So I really didn't have plans to leave today, but now I have plans to leave today, which he's not even going to be at the house long, but it's really nice out and I needed an excuse to get out because I don't get out a lot. I don't know. Maybe it seems like I do because when I'm vlogging, I usually vlog when I'm out and about, but I'm not out and about that often. I'm always at home being a stay-at-home mom, but the sun is shining, so it's a good day to go get some things I need from Target. I need some hangers, <clears throat> um, some new face wash, about to run out, and uh, I can't remember what else, but I'm also going to check my P.O. box. I have not checked that in a while, and I've had a few people tell me that I should check it, or that they've sent me a letter, or a package, whatever the case may be, and I also... Um, have a company sending me something in my P.O. box. I don't know why I give so many details. Anyways, I'm going to the P.O. box as well. Probably stop at Starbucks, get a little sandwich if they have my favorite sandwich, something to eat, and then we'll head and over. We're at Red Trucks. And we're gonna go at Red Trucks, and then we'll head over to my mom's and hang out over there. Just the sun is shining. It's a good day. Um, I need to obviously get some things done around the house. I feel a little bit accomplished because I have a storage unit reserved. We're going to start moving some stuff into it tomorrow. And then, I think tomorrow. And then I also have my electric set up to be shut off June 1st. I've got my Wi-Fi and cable set up to be shut off May 25th. So, I feel like I'm accomplishing things. getting Taking steps. Um, I'm not like hardcore packing because a lot of my stuff doesn't really need to be packed and put into boxes, if that makes sense. A lot of it's just like big items or stuff that doesn't really get put into boxes. Anyways, at this point I'm blabbering. So the first stop is Target. Target. What? I don't see what. I don't see what is it. What were you saying? Where we just get? Target. You said we just got to Target. But, I mean, let me see how soon it is. Now it's zoomed. Let me see how much. My guy's got like a pimple on his nose, which is really weird. We gotta get some diapers. Is that okay? No, yes. I just want to go over there now. I know. I wanted to get a small pack. We never have our size. So we had to get a big box. But there's a blue box up there. I know, but I need size two. They don't have it. Who is that? Who is that? Louie. Louie, you love them? Hey, there's, there's a little, there's a seat in that. Those are just a couple Hot Wheels. I want to see in there. Hold on. Hold on. Purple jelly. No, it's not. What it's, is it? It's, it's, it's purple honey. Purple honey, okay. Got everything. You missed that I did. I know, but we're not getting it. Okay, put it in the bag. Good job. Flip it. Good job. Scanned. Now what? Tell me, right? He said it's hungry, right? Yep. Put it in. Put it in. Come over here, dude. Show him what you got. Stay by me. There's cars coming. Stay over here. Over here, honey. Show me what you got. A blue car over there. Did you bump your head? Yeah. <laughs> Show me what you got. Show me what you got. All right, successful trip to Target with both the kids. 
easy, successful trip. It always puts me in a good mood if I'm able to get somewhere with both kids by myself and everything goes smoothly. It puts me in a great mood. Look, you see those two flags? I do, I do see those two flags. On so that long thing? On that long flagpole, yes. So got some Target. We got Starbucks while we were in Target. I was planning on driving to the Starbucks further away. But they had everything I wanted at this Starbucks. Well, they had the sandwich I wanted, so I got the sandwich. And then I went and got gas, because there's like a gas shortage everywhere. So I figured I better fill up, since my gas light's literally always on. So I filled my tank up, and now we are headed to... The P.O. Box. Yeah, how many letters we got there? One, two, three letters. some of these letters. This one's got something in it, so I'm gonna open this one first. This is from Halen. Hylin, Halen, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name, but it looks like you are also from Ohio. So, hello fellow Ohioan, and thank you for the letter, or whatever this may be. Oh, gosh. So there's not a letter, I don't think. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, I dropped something. So she didn't write anything, right? Okay, yeah, no letter, but she sent some Color Street peel off nail things. These are super cute. I need to wait for my nails to grow back because a couple of them like are break, broken. I don't know, my nails are not doing well at the moment. Some days they're great, some days they just break. Nail prep pad, a little nail file, a little, I think this like smooths the thingy on your nails, I don't know. Nail file, nail polish remover pads, nail prep pads, and more color street nail stickers. Well, thank you, Halen, right? Halen, thank you for that, that was so sweet of you. This is from Shayna. I can't pronounce any of these last names. Shayna. <laughs> Shayna, Shayna. I can't pronounce your last name. I'm so sorry. Oh, I love when I get these little stickers. Somebody else sent me a letter recently and they put these cute little stickers in there. And now I have more. These are stickers, right? Wait, are these stickers? Oh, these ones might not be stickers. These might just be little print cutouts. Anyways, they're super cute. Little plants and things like that. Love those, thank you. I love them. Oh, and then there's a pretty little drawing here. Not sure how it goes, I think it goes like this. It says, hi Allison, I hope you are doing well. I wanna send you some stuff. Your TikToks are so entertaining and fun to watch. Your kids are so adorable and look like so much fun. I hope you have a good day. Her TikTok is, Shrek is hot. <laughs> and her Instagram is Shayna. Gosh, I don't know how to pronounce these things. Thank you for the cute little letter and thank you for these awesome cut cutouts. I don't know if these are stickers or not. I think they're just cutouts nothing's peeling off okay no they are just cutouts so thank you guys for the the my mom's cracking up right now because she knows i'm in here doing this and the fire alarm's going off or the smoke detectors gosh it's hurting my ears Anytime it's over 400, this is what it does. <laughs> 
Come on. Can't have, they're so sensitive, if anything over 400, the alarms go off. Is that not crazy? Man, those are loud. Those, they that's are good, though. They are very loud. They're very sensitive. Hi, honey. Sensitive is good when there's a fire, but when there isn't, it's not. Pretty girl. See, we didn't know. I didn't like that. It's not poop. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Just don't touch it. <laughs> I see something. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Here, I'll kick it away. It Boop. Boop. All gone. But have this, okay? Thank you. There's my boy. Cutest boy on earth. You know that? Huh. You're the cutest boy on planet Earth. Huh. Bye, money. He's going to check out his trampoline. They had to take the net off because while burning a fire, the net got a hole in it. But there's a new net, they just haven't put it on yet. But he doesn't believe me, so he's going to check it out. And I am just soaking in the sun. It's actually pretty hot. My hair's like on fire. I can't open my eyes. So guys, we just got back from the emergency room. I took Scarlett hi. to the ER. Levi hi, said hi. Hi guys. We're at my mom's right now. Um, I was going to take her to the ER last night. So basically ever since she was... I want to say a month, maybe a little bit older. She's been having skin issues just in like the crevices of where she's like chubby. You know, babies get chunky and they get chubby crevices right here under her neck, backs of her legs. She's always had like kind of, of a mixture between dry and like too moist at the same time skin. Um, I know I've tried switching baby soaps, changing laundry detergent, detergents, giving oat milk baths, breast milk baths, fresh aloe, fresh all natural vitamin E oil, aquaphor, you know, I've tried everything up the past three days. It got really, really bad. So I, um, it's like really bad. I'll have to insert some pictures and videos that I took on my phone last night. So I was going to take her to the ER last night, but I gave her a really cool calming bath with oats and um, baking soda and she seemed like relaxed and okay. So we went to sleep and this morning when we woke up, um, I took her in. My mom went with me. Turns out she has terrible eczema. Um, you know, I hope it's nothing like from my breast milk. I hope I don't need to like cut out dairy or gluten or anything like that. Um, I'm going to show you guys what he recommended and prescri prescribed. He also prescribed steroids, which I really don't want to put on her skin or give to her. Um, I have to go pick that up from Drug Mart in a little bit. I already picked up the other stuff that he prescribed, um, but there it was like an hour wait for the, an not antibiotics, steroids, whatever it is, so I have to pick that up later. So this is what he said. The main thing is, okay, Levi, Aveeno Baby Colloidal Oatmeal Moisturizing cream, eczema therapy. And then also, this eczema therapy soothing bath treatment. Um, he didn't recommend this, but pretty much goes hand in hand alongside this. So, as soon as we got home here, not home, but as soon as we got back here, I have lathered her in this, and she already seems to be feeling so much more comfortable and not as irritated. She'd been like rubbing her arm on me because in that crevice right there is where it's really red and bad and like under her neck and her chest. And she seems really content right now so I feel really relieved. Um, I really don't want to have to give her steroids. You guys know me, I'm an all natural kind of mama so like that's kind of like last resort. Say I'm happy right now. Dale was such a good girl at the doctor's. Was she such a good girl? 
Is he so good? Yes, honey. She was so good there. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, she is such a good baby. I'm like, I know, I'm so lucky. So here's what it's looking like right now. It's already getting, seriously and honestly, so much better since I put the lotion on. Of course, she's not all the way better yet. Hi, beautiful. You are such a good girl and she got a new toy. A new toy for her. Honestly, I was so sick over it last night because it just looked so bad. It still does look bad. I couldn't even eat last night. I couldn't think straight. I just, I wanted to go to the ER like last night, like right away. But we fought until today. I'm so glad we went. I'm so glad to know that it's just eczema. Although I know eczema is still just not a fun or good thing to have. Um, but I'm glad it's not like, I don't know. I just feel like it could be so much worse. This lighting is not good. So yeah, my baby girl had her first emergency room, trip to the emergency room. But I will make sure to keep you all updated as to how these treatments and stuff work and if her skin gets better or what the case may be. My poor girl, I just want her to have normal, smooth, soft, baby skin and it just seems like she never has and it's just it's gotten worse the past few days so I'm glad we at least got a diagnosis here's what her arm is looking like a lot better a lot better this one's like completely better her skin's still pretty dry um, but like I said turns out she has eczema her chest is a lot better as well she's just dry right now but the redness is residing and like the super raw look to the eczema is going away they prescribed a topical steroid and an oral steroid but i'm not giving her the oral steroid they gave me the hugest bottle of steroids and she needs to take like 14 milliliters by mouth a day and that is just crazy but i'm not giving her that at all i didn't throw it away i'm keeping it i don't know why but i'm not giving her that um Basically right now, I'm just using that Colidal Oat um, Aveeno Moisturizer. And that's helping a lot. And I have used the topical steroid. I'm trying not to use a lot. I really don't want to use that. You know, I'm kind of like an all natural kind of mom. I try my best to be, I mean, I'm not perfect. So if you thought I was, I'm not. Um, but I'm also gonna try out this brand called So Luxury All Natural Products. It's really expensive, but it's worth it if it works for her and it seems to have worked for some other moms I know with babies with eczema. Um, I've gotten a lot of suggestions from people over on TikTok, so I'll have to do my research and decide which I wanna try out on her. I hope this isn't something that's lifelong for her. I don't know if it's my diet. I have a feeling it could be the dog, um, for some reason. Mom, okay. Sully is the only dog on earth that has ever made me itchy. I get so itchy when I touch him and I get little bumps everywhere. So part of me thinks that he could be a reason for her eczema. I don't know, I just, I hope it's something she grows out of, but I wanted to give you guys an update before I ended the vlog. She's doing so much better. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Say peace.